Howard's paintings are punk. They're punk mainstream. Oh, I studied at Paran TAFE and then Paran College, um, majoring in painting, and he was one of the teachers there. Howard Arkley had outstanding art exhibitions. They were really something special. They weren't just, oh, having another show. They were like, bang. The whole world stopped for Howard Arkley. Well, I think from Howard's exuberance and personality, a lot of people got inspired. Howard grew up in suburbia, Howard was involved with suburbia, Howard lived in suburbia, Howard's studios later on were in suburbia, and Howard would have seen suburbia day in, day out as being the major reality of Australia. I've only just started painting suburban paintings in a pixelated style. I've done a few suburban paintings in a sort of traditional classical style, but I haven't really shown them to anyone. We look at his work as being dominated by line, but one of the interesting things about that line is that it's actually not a line at all. It's a spray. It's more like an atomized um, abstraction. When I look at that painting, I see both Howard Arkley and Nick Cave. And also I do see an uh, anonymous mask-like figure that can represent a generation of that punk 80s mentality. It's a lot of attitude in that painting, and that attitude comes from both the sitter and the painter.